right, hi everyone. Thanks for joining me tonight. Yoga deep stretch and release. Feel free to have a few towels if you need it for support under your knees at any point in time. You can incorporate a block, a strap, anything else that you need. You can also use that towel as a strap as well for any binds. When you're ready, starting by laying ourselves down onto our mat. Resting that head down, starting in a simple Shavasana position, letting the legs be extended long, toes laying wide. If you feel you need more comfort for your lower back, option to bring your soles to feet about hip width apart on that easy bent knee position. Ground your lower back on the mat, bringing those knees to touch and center. We're moving into a butterfly position, soles of feet in, knees to fall wide, letting gravity let the knees slowly lower. Arms can be lung down by our sides, wide, always option for cactus, elbows wide, open the palms, or having those arms all the way lifted above the head, giving a nice stretch. Tilting the head back slightly, maintain a nice open throat, heart. Give yourself one cleansing breath, nice inhale through the nose, open the mouth and sign that breath out. Option to stay with your regular rhythm of breathing, or we'll start to enter our Uja Pranayama ocean sounding breath. Trying to stick with it throughout our entire practice. Keeping the mouth closed. Allow a slow four second inhale through the nose. Holding pause at the top, breath at the back of the throat. And exhale, slow four second release of the nose. As you'll hold the pause at the base. Only focusing on deepening breath. Remembering to stay at whatever level is best for you throughout every pose. Taking it further when you're ready. Option to take a light wiggle through the fingers, the toes, just awakening that body. Sending our legs nice and long down the mat. Bring your legs together, feet are touching our clothes, pointing those toes, engaging through those legs. Inhale, reach your arms overhead, allow a nice arch in the back, stretch and reach. And on the exhale, let that tension go, body relaxes. One more time, point toes, engage and reach overhead. And exhale, tension goes. Floating our right knee into our chest as we inhale to lift. Interlace those hands onto right shin, pulling that knee in towards the chest. Nice tight hug in, left leg long, eyes can stay closed, face soft. Slowly move that right knee wide towards that right shoulder, forcing a nice open hip. And you're when we're moving supine pose. Again, using those hands and breathing. Extending our right leg straight up to sky, let that leg start to lift. And interlace our gravel behind the right leg, avoid the knee, give that top right foot a point and a flex. Option to do a light ankle roll, start with a few circles one way, and option to roll out that ankle the other way. Keeping your leg here, or option to deepen the stretch by lightly hugging that leg in towards you. Again, not forcing it too far. Option to always, again, use the strap or towel behind that foot if you prefer it. 
Bend your knee anytime. Breathe. Two more breaths. Keeping our leg lifted to the sky, arms long down by sides, taking a four count to float the leg long ways down the mat, lowering for four, three, two, and one. Let that leg go, give it a light shake if you need. And that left knee lifts the chest, take a nice inhale. Hands onto that shin, interlace, hug in. And again, option to have those eyes closed as we start nice and slow. Start by rotating knee wide to the left, hugging in towards that shoulder, hip open, and your wind removing supine. As we start to extend our leg up, get that leg a nice lift. Interlace, hands behind leg, avoid knee, point and flex, top foot. An option for your ankle rolls, rolling it out in circles one way. And circling it out the other. Option to stay or anytime deepening by floating that leg in. You'll be giving yourself 10 deep breaths here so you have time to slowly increase it when you're ready. Almost there. First, just releasing those arms down by sides. Fork, slow count to lower leg to mat for four, three, two, and one. Again, a light shake out of those legs. As we'll be floating both the knees into the chest, Inhale one at a time, lift those knees in, wrap arms around shins, nice hug, and start to rock that body out side to side, getting some nice movement with the tailbone, lower back, an option, and now take those knees into some nice circles, out and in. Body at stillness in center, pulling those knees wide towards those shoulders. Nice compression, option to stay or flex those feet. Move into your happy baby, grab onto the ankles, the soles of the feet, pulling those knees wide, hips open, and take a bit of a longer hold. Breathing into your happy baby. Staying right here if you want it, or you have the option to straighten that right leg out. Keep it slightly bent if needed. Just the right leg and hold. As we bend, right leg back at the knee. Option left leg, slow extension.
And as you bend, stay. Use your hands on those legs in order to gently push the legs up to touch. Bend legs at knees, hug in and give yourself another little rock out to release or you're bringing the feet on that and windshield wipe, bring the knees out, letting them drop side to side. Back on mat, lift those knees so they're bent at 90. Moving your arms into cactus, elbows wide with those shoulders. Open up those palms. Knees staying side by side or to deepen your twist, cross that right knee over the left. Inhale, tuck knees into chest and exhale. Let those knees slowly lower to left. Gaze will fall to right unless you have a neck limitation. And to enter your twist deeper, left hand. Grab onto those legs wherever you can, adding a gentle pull. Trying to have that right shoulder placed to the mat. We're taking your time as we float the knees up to center. On the inhale, gently let those legs lift, uncross, and again a little rock out if you need it. Knees at 90, you have the option left knee over right. Inhale, tuck knees into chest and exhale to float those knees down to the right. Option gaze going left and maybe adding in that right hand placed onto those legs. Your supine spinal twist. Take your time to float up to center, inhale, uncross legs, hug knees in and rock the body out. In center, let those soles of feet lower to your mat, hip width apart, arms long down by sides, eyes closed or gazes lifted for our bridge. Inhale, push those hips up to the sky. Feel free to stay right here or in order to deepen it, interlace all 10 fingertips under the body. Roll up onto those shoulders so we're pushing those hips higher. Open your throat and making sure you're getting nice deep breaths. Release all your fingertips and take your time. Exhale, float the back and the bum to the mat. Again, anytime if you need a little release, just giving those knees a small drop out side to side. Bending that right leg at the knee, placing outside of right ankle onto the left thigh. Right palm will push right knee wide, level one, figure four, option to stay here, or when you're ready, inhale, lift left knee to 90. Reach those arms to the legs, interlace or grab on behind the thigh, on the shin, maybe leg lifted, or again use towel or strap to help anytime you need to hold. Head relaxed. Breathing into the hip, the glute.
Letting those legs uncross slowly, hugging in light rock. Our soles of the feet will go back, hip width apart on mat. Arms long, you have an option is to take your bridge pose one more time with those hips pushing up. But if you are ready for your wheel pose back then, place those hands beside the face, fingertips facing to the front of your mat. So we're either ready to push up into bridge or our wheel pose, get ready. And here we go, gently push that body up. And hold yourself here for five, four, three, heart opener, two, one wheel pose, tuck chin in, very slow and careful, upper back, middle back, lower back on the mat. And again, windshield wiper it out. Good, bringing your body back into center, right foot on mat, outside left ankle, placing it on right thigh with that left palm, pressing that left knee out. Option to stay or taking our figure four. Inhale, lift right knee to 90. Take those arms, reach them through the legs. Grab on, interlace the thigh, the shin. Rest your head. And coming back to your breath. And as we let it go, hug knees and rock body out. We'll be extending those legs straight up to sky, arms long down by sides. You will have the option to be staying right here with your legs lifted. Feel free to use hands for support or even going against wall if you really prefer it, but we won't be here for too long. Now, if you do want to enter your shoulder stand and possibly your plow pose, double check your spacing behind you. You can always shimmy yourself down the mat. Legs lifted, arms down by sides, gaze up, level one, stay here, using hands for support if you need. Our next step option is to take shoulder stand, tuck the bum, lower back off the mat, use those hands for support, tailbone lower back, Knees is still lifted, control. Feel free to stay here or option for your plow. Start to lower your toes towards the back wall. Keeping hands there for support unless the legs, feet are fully on the mat. Feel free to release those arms long. Two breaths. your hands left the lower back, place those palms on, floating the legs back up to our shoulder stand where we'll take one more deep breath at the top. And when you're ready to release, just making sure we take that time, slow, full back is back to the mat, feet go down, bent knees and windshield wiper it out. When you're ready, simply roll your body onto your right side to enter your fetal position. Option to have right arm long under that head, using it as a pillow. Left palm can be on matter under head as well. Right palm placed to the ribs. Two more deep breaths. And when you're ready, feel free to use your palms to help give that body a light push up as we'll be seated. Grabbing a sip of water if you need. We'll be in seated with the legs nice and long in front. Reach those legs out long. Ground down your sit bones. Bring the props with you if you need. Flex your feet, roll your shoulders back. Sitting tall. 
On the inhale, sweep your arms all the way up to sky. Option, take a light knee back bend, open the throat, and exhale, hinge forward, reach, start to fold. Head releasing, if I need it, my knees are bent. Hands on the mat, shins, feet, or again, using that strap or towel behind the feet is a great option as well. Pulling your body forward as you breathe, taking any extra amount of space that the body is receiving from holding that stretch for a longer period of time. And our seated forward fold, taking it for a bit longer. So we have eight more deep breaths to pot potentially take that space and hinge deeper, maybe getting a little bit straighter legs, deeper flex in those feet, more control. Almost there. As we lift, we'll take our time while lifting to a flat back, arms straight up to sky. Inhale, slow it down, reach those arms up. Lift, arms straight. And on the exhale, bend from elbows, open those shoulders and let those hands slowly lower. Take that left hand to the outside of the right leg, wherever it can reach comfortably. Do a light twist to your spine, piece of our back right shoulder, and give that right arm a reach straight back shoulder level. Nice minor twist with that shoulder opener. Sitting tall, feet flexed. Good, exhale, float that hand in. Right hand outside, left leg, not forcing it too far and stretch that left arm back shoulder level. Gaze to follow. And exhale, let your body release in center, grabbing onto your right leg, crossing that right solar foot over the left leg. Option to stay or for a deeper twist, bend that bottom left leg at the knee. Make sure your sit bones are fully comfortable and grounded on the mat. Right palm is behind our back, sitting tall. Inhale, stretch that left arm up to sky, gaze up. Twisting right, exhale, take that arm outside of that thigh. Twist, gaze back over right shoulder. Option, left arm long, palm lifted. Grabbing on the thigh or left hand, use that towel or strap if you need, reach it through the right leg. Find right hand behind back. Interlace those fingertips or you're grabbing on to that towel or strap if you can't quite make that full reach yet. And again, always sitting tall. Breathe. If you did, take it to the bind. First, just let your fingertips release. And we'll all take a slow exhale, float your body to center. Let your legs go, right or both, and give it a light drum roll shake out on the mat. Grabbing onto left thigh leg, bending it, crossing it over right. Keep that right leg straight, or you're giving it that bend at the knee. Grounding down those sit bones. Left palm, place it behind that back, sitting tall. Right arm, inhale, reach to the sky. Exhale, twist outside of that left thigh. Gaze back. Option again, arm long, palm up, grabbing on, or take that right hand with strap or towel. If you need, reach it through that left leg. Left hand behind back, and grabbing or interlacing. Taking a bit of a longer hold.
If you did move to bind, just the fingertips, let it go first. And we'll all float, exhale, body center, letting legs go. Again, take that light release here. Shake it out. If you need to move yourself long ways on the mat, so we can have those legs extended wide, give yourself a bit of a shuffle. Using that mat, I'm gonna bring my block close to me here. Grounding down your sit bones. Legs straight if they can, feet flex. Sit tall and just hit a nice flat back here, shoulders back. Feel free to stay or to hinge. Taking a walk forward, maybe it's a few inches, sit bones are back instead of tucking your tailbone under. Flatten that back, option to hinge further, maybe to the forearms. Grab that block, whichever way, you can always rest that head as well, or feel free to go all the way, extending arms, body, head to rest. Breathing, opening up to those inner thighs, all the way down the center of the legs, groin, hips, and also getting that nice back reach if we are taking those arms and extending and hinging. Gonna be taking five more deep breaths here in center. If we are hinged forward, let's slowly walk those hands in, lift the body back up to center. Right hand, hinging towards that right leg, grabbing on wherever you're comfortable on that leg. Left arm, inhale, reach it wide left, and hinge, side stretch, extending those left fingertips towards the right toes. So you can be as lifted as you need to be, and if we can extend a bit lower and deeper, keeping that arm lifted to the sky instead of allowing that shoulder to hinge in, keep it lifted, open, gaze can be up, Again, breathing into that side body. We'll be doing a light windmill, just lifting body back up the center, nice and slow. Inhale, let it lift, readjust and center. Reach that left arm down that left leg where you want it. Right arm, inhale, reach it wide right. And exhale, allow yourself to hinge. Maybe taking your time with how low you're going into that side body, open shoulder, and option gaze up, lift. Again, slow, just up to center. Inhale, let yourself lift in a light shake out. Rolling out those shoulders. Inhale, lift shoulders to ears. Hug your shoulder blades in and exhale down and back. Again, inhale, lift, hug in and exhale down. Reversing it, inhale, shoulders lift, get a nice push forward and exhale lower. And once more, inhale up, push forward and exhale down. Bend those legs and knees if you need a quick release first. Give it a little shake or shift side to side. And we'll move into our shoelace pose from here. Doesn't matter which leg, bend it at the knee, shin at about a 45 degree angle, grab onto the other leg and try and cross that knee on top. So again, doesn't matter what leg is on top. If you have a real big discomfort, maybe using that block under the bum, the sit bones to stay lifted, Maybe cushioning it under those knees or a pillow so you're not as low. Take the options as you need. You can always be just finding a different option. Take your butterfly here if you need it instead. 
Come around down your sit bones. Our goal is trying to have a flat back sitting tall. And then those feet out forward. Stay here if you want to add in arm chest opener as well. Another option to use that towel or strap if needed for another bind. Top leg that is crossed over, reach that arm up to sky and bend that elbow, palm down to that back of body. Hold here for a breath, forcing that elbow lifted, chin up. Stay here, reach that other arm wide and behind the back. Again, grab that towel or strap if you need to use it. Otherwise, goal, touch fingertips, interlace, whatever option we can get here. Use a prop if needed, sit tall and breathe. Close those eyes. Almost there. Gonna go slow with the arms first. Let the arms go, float them forward. Legs, use your hands to help, gentle. Remember which leg you had on top here. And again, shaking it out, our knee drops side to side. Let it go. And we'll be transitioning to the other side. Grab to the leg, making sure we're taking other leg on top this time. Adjust those legs, cross knee on top, getting those shins out in front, ground down the sit bone. Choose those options if you want to just stay here and you need some assistance, sit tall, flat back, stay here, or grab that strap towel if you need. Left arm lift, or arm that is on the top leg, and bend behind the back. Just stay here for a breath. Drawing some attention, keeping it lifted, other arm wide, bend behind, oh, trying to get that reach. Let me use my towel on this one. And just trying your best to stay open, breathe. Arms first, just a slow let strap go forward and legs. Use those hands to help. Let it go again. Shake it out or side to side, whatever you need to do to release. Grabbing water on the move if it's needed. Meeting me in tabletop position. Hands, knees on the mat. Give yourself some space, so being at about the center of the mat. Place those palms under the shoulders, knees under hips, tuck those toes flat back. Start with an easy push of the hips out side to side. And option, add in arms, reaching off to the side of the mat, on those hips, take a pause, a few seconds, few breaths. And lift, let those hips Hinge to the other side, and the arms reach the opposite side on the mat. And letting yourself come up to center as we move through those hips, coming into some nice figure eights forward, hinging back, get warmed up through the spine, the back of the body. And feel free to take it the other way. Good, breathe. Now take a nice hinge forward, drop your hips, sink. Toes can be on top, open that chest, variation of up dog. Don't force it if it's not right for you. Open the throat. 
Tuck toes, push bump back, hit a child's pose. Sit back, reach those arms out. Use that energy from those legs, lower body, push forward, sink the hips, untuck and open. Good, again, push back, nice rolling motion, and sit, child's. Doing it two more times, hinge forward, sink and open. You might notice those hips being able to slowly push a bit deeper. Lower back opening, chest, hinge it back, push, child. And one more time here, roll it forward, sink the hips, open up the front of the body. And take a nice push back. Toes tuck and extend. Hold, breathe. Hinge yourself back into that tabletop position, flat back. We're trying our cow pose as you inhale. Push your belly down, open your throat, take a nice inhale. On the exhale, reverse tuck in, round that spine. Head down, gaze back, cat pose. Inhale, push down of that belly, open up that chest. And exhale, tuck, round it in, angry cat. Two more, inhale, get into some nice back movement here. Exhale, tuck, round, hollow belly. Last time, inhale, find your cow. And exhale, tuck and round it, cat pose. Release flat back, toes still tuck, right arm, inhale, lift to the sky, exhale, weave under, palm facing up to the left side, inch that left palm forward on the mat, right side of face, right shoulder on mat, bum lifted, and getting a bit of a side body reach. Walk that left palm in a few inches, push body up. Center, right palm on mat, left arm stretch up, inhale. And exhale, cross it under, weave it through. Left side face down, right palm walks a few inches forward. Applying the right amount of pressure on that shoulder side body for you. And take your time, lift center, both arms forward, untuck toes, and hinge your body back into a child's pose, getting a nice compression, belly to thigh. And when you're ready, hinge yourself forward back to tabletop, tuck those toes under, and we will be pushing to our first downward facing dog. Slowly lift those knees, push your sit bones up, pushing those heels to the mat, give yourself a light movement in your down dog, so maybe it's moving to the feet. Taking your few breaths here, walk it out. Take a slow heel toe, let your feet walk halfway up the mat so that we end up in a standing forward fold. Knees bent if needed, hinge the body forward. All the way, let it go. Now as you inhale, lift to a half lift, flat back. Use your hands for support, shins, the block, wherever it works for you, gaze forward. And exhale, fold, release down. Again, inhale, careful lift, engage the core, flat back. And exhale, fold and release. 
Feet will give them a walk just to be hip with apart and parallel. Stay here, hand to grab on the opposite elbow, get a nice pull and allow a light sway of your body. Sway up that tension side to side. And as you let yourself come to stillness and center, arms release, fingertips down on the mat. Heel toe walking those feet as wide as the mat in parallel or up to you. You can always take it a few inches wider than the mat as well. Fold your body forward. We're in a wide legged standing forward fold or taking a bit of a shorter stance. Either way, head is down, legs are straight as they can. Feel free to stay or taking a bind, spine, shoulder opener, reach those arms behind back, again, towel, strap is there if you need, interlace all ten fingertips, start to pull those arms towards the front so you're feeling the rotating open through the shoulders, the back, the spine, and trying to take it further when you're ready, legs stay as is, use a bend if it becomes just too intense, that chest might start to fall deeper, Hold. Breathing through it, keep it up. And very slow, those arms, let them go. Fingertips to the mat. Feet, if they are wider than your mat, just walk them in so they're as wide as the mat and push your hips out side to side. Again, similar to a sway, it's just a light movement. And we'll heel to walk those feet all the way in now together or hip width apart. Head down one more time, let it fold. Half lift, inhale, flat back, support yourself. And exhale, fold. Put those palms forward on the mat, shoulder width apart, and we'll be stepping to down dog one at a time. Step those feet back. Now we will extend our right leg up to sky. So inhale, just get that leg a nice lift. Open up that hip, give it a stretch. High on left toes, float your right knee into chest and we'll step through into runner's lunge, just grabbing onto the leg if you need and let that foot step in. Release that left knee to the mat. Again, if you need a little cushion, towel, use something if you need. Light on fingertips, sink your hips forward. Front knee over ankle, back toes up to you, tucked or untucking. Block if I need, if I can't quite touch that mat. Pushing into a nice open hip, hip flexor, chest, and just breathe and hold. Make sure that knee is in line over the ankle. Two breaths. your right fingertips are on the outside of your right foot, bring those fingertips to the inside of the foot. Walk your right foot a couple inches wide to the right with those toes angled outwards at a 45 degree angle. Back toes are for sure untucked now on the mat. Give your hips one more sink forward, open up that chest. Level one lizard pose, feel free to stay here. Or we can lower forearms again, block or sister or on the mat. Letting yourself release lower. Grab a length arm to stick with your breath.
If we did go down to those forearms, let's just lift those hands safely one at a time. Tuck your back toes under. We're walking that right foot back to the center of the mat. And right fingertips back to outside of the foot. Back toes tucked under. Hinge your hips back. Push. Walk your fingertips back again. Grab that block if you need. Flex your right foot. Push the foot forward if you need. Left hip lined up over the left knee. Right foot flex. Toes up. Stay here if we can. We'll start to fold forward when we're ready to deepen it. So now we're getting to the back of that right leg, hamstring, calf. Flex that foot. Get a nice stretch between the Achilles heel. Now, of course, we're going to stay here for longer. So feel free to stay here if you're working on your splits. Take your time and you can start to walk and hinge your body to where you want to be keeping your hands on the mat unless we are released right down in those splits. Nice job, splits. We will carefully be coming back to shorten up. Use your hands. Gently drag that body in safely. Back toes tucked under, back in half splits. Walk those fingertips forward. Bend your front knee. Knee in line over ankle. Foot on the mat. Again, stay right here. We're going to take a small lift just by bringing the hands onto the thigh. Good, again, letting your hips sink forward. We're not going much further than here, but we are adding in a side stretch. I'm gonna bring my block here to the outside of the right leg. Left arm lifts up, inhale. Side bend to the right if you wanna take it. If I do have that block or I can reach my right hand down to the mat, you have the option to increase it. Otherwise, don't push it. Just use your right hand on that right thigh and get a slight side body opener. Almost there. Good, float your hands, fingertips down on the mat. Palms. Shoulder width apart, back toes tucked, float that left knee off the mat. Do a safe step back into down dog and walk it out in that down dog. Sitting back, left leg stretching into three leg dog. Inhale, lift, open up. High on right toes, float that knee in. And trying to step it through. If not, grab on and slide it in. Right knee releasing down on the mat. Front knee over ankle. Light on fingertips, pushing those hips forward. Again, your back toes tucked or untucked, whatever you prefer here. Hips hinged. Open that chest. Hold and breathe. Hips, inner thighs, hip flexor. Good, as we untuck those back toes now, we're walking that left foot wide to the left, so the left fingertips inside foot. About the edge of the mat, toes angled out, 45 degree angle. Give your hips one more hinge forward, sink into it. Open that chest, level one lizard pose. Feel free to stay or to go down to those forms on the mat or on that block for your lizard pose hold.
If we are down on those forearms, take your time to push the hands up. Tuck back toes under. And we're walking that left foot, center of the mat, left fingertips, outside foot. When you're ready, from there, hinging those hips, bum back, flexing that front left foot, making any adjustments for your alignment that you need. Right knee under that right hip, front foot flex, toes up. Then we can fold head, body down to deepen that stretch. Half splits, monkey pose, staying here or anytime you want to go deeper, we're giving time to take those splits if you're ready. Walk your way there. Again, use those hands for support unless you're releasing all the way down. And splits. Let's carefully come back in to our half splits safely. And from that half splits, hinge your hips, left foot on mat, line up knee over ankle, back toes tucked. Stay right here if you're not ready to lift. Otherwise, we'll bring those palms up to that thigh. Give yourself a breath, just to hinge. Stay right here if you don't want to do your side body bend. I'm going to bring my block outside left leg. Left palm can be on that left thigh. Right arm up, inhale. Side bend, left again. Feel free to not take it too far or to add on that hand. Left side of And side body stretch. And those arms, we're just exhaling, bringing those fingertips down. Palm shoulder width apart, back toes tucked, float your right knee up. And take a gentle step back in a down dog and one more walk out on your down dog. Wide leg, child's pose, high on toes, knees wide on the mat, untuck toes, sit, bum, sit bones back, and stretch those arms out, forehead to the mat. And give yourself a safe roll up when you're ready. Water if you need. We'll finish off on the back with the legs lifted to sky to hold. So we will have the choice to come up against the wall if you prefer. So if I want to use the wall, bring yourself close. Sideways angle with body. Float those legs up onto the wall when you're ready. And you can try to shimmy your body even closer with those legs lifted. Otherwise, exact same thing with no wall, legs up, and you can always grab on to support. Feel free to take a towel, whatever you have, over the eyes, under the head, get comfortable. Good, and holding body with legs lifted.
You can stay right where you are, or if you want to move the legs into frog legs, bend them at the knees, take them wide. Again, wall or no wall, you can do with either. Feet wide, lined up wide with the knees, shins in line with knees, using hands just to grab on, or that wall is there to support you and stay. When we release out of this, of course, it'll look different if we're against the wall. So if you're just on your mat, you can just bring the feet down and windshield wiper it out. Otherwise, feel free to grab onto your legs. Give yourself a hand to roll over onto the side of the body. And try to move yourself back onto your mat, giving yourself that windshield wiper again or a rock out side to side. You have option, legs long, feet on mat, butterfly, give yourself a quick release down the mat. Staying here, closing our practice by bringing one hand on the belly, your other hand on your heart, giving yourself a nice cleansing breath, a deep inhale through your nose, open the mouth, and a noisy sigh out. <sighs> Thanking yourself for connecting, breath and body, moving, stretching, full hour together. And thank you all for joining me. Namaste.